Gretchen Rampa from Planned Parenthood Votes Rhode Island. Hi. Good afternoon, y'all. My name is Gretchen Rafa, Vice President of Public Policy Advocacy and Organizing at Planned Parenthood Votes Rhode Island, the advocacy and political arm of Planned Parenthood of Southern New England. Today, we are gathered in outrage as the Supreme Court ended our federal constitutional right to abortion by overturning Roe v. Wade, turning back on nearly 50 years of precedent, to denying the will of the majority of people in our country and stripping away our most basic freedom, the right to control our own bodies. This frightening and devastating decision will open the floodgates, allowing states across the country to eliminate access to abortion. Right now, in some states, bans are already going into effect immediately and abortion care is being stopped. For the first time in our country, millions of people have lost a constitutional right today. And this is only the beginning, y'all. This is only the beginning. Politicians have been systematically taking away access to abortion one state at a time. This ruling will be, uh, begin a ripple effect spreading abortion bans across the country, allowing politicians to have free reign on our personal medical decisions. These politicians have plan been planning for this moment for decades. I stand here with an incredibly heavy heart. We know the right to abortion is protected in our state, but our essential freedoms and bodily autonomy should not and cannot depend on where we live. We know the consequences of this devastating decision will fall largely on people who are already facing the greatest barriers to healthcare due to this country's legacy of racism and discrimination, including black, Latino, indigenous people, people with low incomes, LGBTQ plus people, specifically trans and non-binary folks, immigrants and people living in rural areas. This decision will worsen existing health disparities and inequities and set back the progress we've made in the fight for reproductive health rights and justice. But these abortion bans and this decision are not a far away problem. There are abortion bans right here in Rhode Island that you've already heard about that make the legal protections in our state law meaningless for those who can't access abortion care. Here's the reality. Too many people in Rhode Island can't exercise their right to abortion. Today, right now, our state laws ban one in three residents from using their health insurance coverage to cover abortion care. Our legislators have the power to change it, but many refuse to act this session and vote on the Equality and Abortion Coverage Act. But I want to say a special thank you and shout out to Representative Kassar and Senator yeah. Val Verde. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for introducing the bill again and leading the effort this session. We fought to codify the right to abortion in Rhode Island state law. And at that time, legislators would only accept the, st uh, the status quo. Today, with the Supreme Court eliminating our constitutional right to abortion, we're here to say that the status quo is not enough. It's not good enough anymore, y'all. Yeah. This moment is a wake up call for all of us. There is more work to do in Rhode Island and we need champions who will fight for reproductive freedom. When policymakers deny insurance coverage for abortion, people are either forced to carry a pregnancy against their will or they're forced to pay out of pocket for that care. For many, they can't afford to do that on their own. This is a matter of public health, a matter of equity and fairness, as no one should face delays in accessing time-sensitive abortion care. Our message is loud and clear. We need to keep Rhode Island moving forward. People are angry, they're fired up, they wanna know that our leaders will protect abortion access and fight for reproductive freedom for all people. We know this is what voters want and that they'll remember this when they go to the ballot this election. It's a clear majority. 80% of Americans want abortion to remain legal. So we're gonna fight back until we ensure that everyone that needs abortion can get it. We're angry and we're gonna turn that anger into action. We're gonna continue to fight back against a system that is committed to denying the agency, the humanity, and the dignity of all people. We must fight back against a system that strips, strips away our reproductive rights and further pre uh, criminalizes pregnancy outcomes, which is a direct result of mis misogyny and white supremacy culture. We must fight back against a system that bans abortion
abortion, yet doesn't give people the resources they need to have healthy pregnancies and healthy birth outcomes. In a country where black women are three times more likely to die from pregnancy-related causes than white women. In a country where parents don't have the necessary resources to care for their families and allow them to thrive. We're gonna fight back against a system that wants to deny trans youth life-saving and affirming health care they need and deserve. And we will fight back against every abortion ban that comes our way. This is far from over, and I know generations before us have fought tirelessly to gain and protect the rights we have today. That's why Planned Parenthood Votes Rhode Island will never back down. We remain committed to health equity, and we will be bold and unapologetic in our demands. Yeah. We won't stop fighting alongside all of our coalition and community partners until everyone has the power to control their own bodies, their lives, and futures. That means no judges, no politicians, no abortion bans are going to in interfere with our personal medical decisions. And that means we are going to finally pass the Equality and Abortion Coverage Act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and we are going to vote for candidates that have made the commitment to come back next session and finally pass the EACA. The movement is strong in Rhode Island, and we will fight back, and we will win. That's the end of our speakers for today. Uh, coalition members are here. If you have questions, um, please come and talk to us. Tonight at 8 p.m., there's a rally at the State House hosted by our friends, The Woman Project. Please, please come. Please bring your friends and family and neighbors. We need to come out in strong, strong numbers. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Woo!